How many times have you received an email and you know that you needed to take an action on it, but not now? What would you do? Probably you will snooze it if your app allows it, or you will go into your task manager and create a manual task for you to do it in the future. Maybe you will even copy the subject of the email so you can find it. And how much does that disrupt your day? I don't know about you, but one, I like to have all my to-dos in one place. So this means a task manager, not an email app. And second, I hate manual processes. So in this video today, we are going to fix just that. What happens whenever I receive an email, I have to take an action on it, not now, and I want it as a task. Let's create it. Okay, so this is a little preview of what we are going to achieve. So let's say that we have this email and we wanna take an action on it. So what I'm gonna do is just to press F to forward this email. I'm gonna forward it to make and here I can write whatever I want because then make is going to understand how to use it. So to do today, for example, or I can even just write today and I will just send it. And this is what I got. A task was just created with confirm payment received from Hector or follow up if payment is not received. And I didn't tell it anything about it. Due date is today and I am the assignee. So this is just gonna come into my task manager. Okay, so now how have I achieved this? Well, actually it is very simple. Everything is done with this little, short, simple automation. This is done in make.com. The first thing that we are going to do is to create a mail hook. This is like a web hook, but for emails, as you can probably tell. And what this is going to do is to provide us with an email where we can send data to. So in this case, this is going to be the email where we are gonna be forwarding those emails that we want to generate tasks from. Now, whenever you do that, this is all the content that this module is going to get. The text, so all the email thread with the to do today that, I, that you saw before and all the rest of the email. HTML as well, who the sender is, the recipient, like everything related to the email. And now the next step over here is going to be a ChatGPT module. For using this ChatGPT module, you will have to do a couple of things. One, to connect it over here. And second, to add funds into your ChatGPT account. You can see online help here. I believe that you will be able to do it yourself. And here, what we are going to do is the following in order to set up this module so it works very well. This module is the create a completion I use ChatGPT 4.1 because it's cheap, basically. And here is where the magic really happens. In the role, I'm going to select system. And this is the prompt that I'm going to use. You're an assistant that processes email conversation, extracts key information for task management. Given a full email conversation, including replies, your job is to identify the main task or action Daniel needs to do based on the conversation. Extract the due date or deadline, if mentioned explicitly, for example, by Friday before our call tomorrow, or if no due date is mentioned, make it in two working days from now. And this is a variable that whenever this runs, this run is going to know that now is now. And then return the body of the last email received, i.e. the last message that is not from Daniel. And your output must be invalid JSON with the following structure. This is very important because this is going to allow us to take each piece of information and map it to the right place. So the task, so which is the name of the task, the due date, the email body, the subject, and the who, the person that I'm talking to. Be concise but specific when summarizing the task. If there is no clear due date, again, set it to empty. Keep the last email body clean, remove email signatures, quote replies, and noise. And now to make sure that this is always going to answer me in the way that I want, I create here a little conversation. And for doing that inside of this module, we have this role that is the user. So you can imagine this as if you will open ChatGPT and start typing inside of ChatGPT. But that conversation already has this system instructions. So it already knows what to do with it. So this is the message that this GPT will receive. And then from it, I create another message that is the assistant. So in this case, I am giving an example of how ChatGPT should answer me if he were to receive this message. 
and I write this in JSON format. The task, the due date, the last email body, the subject, the who, and everything. So with this, I'm telling him I only want the JSON, okay? Even if I already stated it here, but sometimes, well, they don't follow instructions so well, so this, I make sure that they do. And then the message number four is again the user, and then here is the email and all the text, okay? So this is the final message that is going to, that the ChatGPT is going to receive. And then the answer to this email is what we are going to use, okay? Then, very important, response format is in JSON object and we have to parse the JSON response because if not, we're just gonna get a bunch of JSON text instead of it being parsed by key. And that is it. So now if we go back to the previous example, we can see how the output was. So this was the output, just the JSON format. But if I wanna see it variable by variable, I can see it here, task, due date, last email, subject, and who. And what this allows me to do is to then create a new module for Notion. In this module is where I'm going to create the task itself. So I'm gonna use that JSON output to map it to the right variables inside of Notion. The task description is the task that I take it from the result itself. So again, here you can see how important it is to parse the JSON. Because if not, we will not have this information formatted in this way. Then the status. So yes, I, I will just map uh, everything. That the assignee by default is me, yeah, and etc. The due date. And then finally, because I want this task to give me context of the email itself, I want to have that inside of the body of the task. Because like this, I can easily search for the subject in case I want to answer to, the, to that email. So I will just append it all. So, so I will just append it to, to the page. Database item ID, this comes from the previous step because this is the page where we want to write the content in. And then this is completely up to you. This is the format that I have chosen. Heading to who, so like this, you can see, you can see like this. Heading to paragraph, heading to paragraph, heading to paragraph. So heading to, then item to paragraph with the result from ChatGPT of who. Then heading to with subject and heading and then paragraph with the actual subject and so on, so on. Okay, so like this, whenever this is going to run, ChatGPT is going to parse the email, understand which is the task that needs to be done when the due date is. We will create a task and we will append all the context inside of the task. And that will be it. Probably it took you 10 minutes and you already have the prompts, which is the most difficult part inside of this video. So now if you wanna see what else you can automate or systemize inside of your business, feel free to check all the videos in my channel or specifically this one over here. And if you want me or my team to get a look inside of your business to see what systems and what automations you need, feel free to book a call with us in the bottom below in the description. That is it for this video and as always, hasta la próxima.